Microsoft Excel 2007 is great for helping me manage a ton of data, but sometimes there's so much data, it's difficult to make sense out of all of it. Like what if I wanted to quickly compare the values in this column, or see which dates in this column occur after November 25th, 2007? I could sort or filter the data, but it would be easier to somehow make the data I care about stand out visually without modifying the data. I can do this with the new conditional formatting effects, such as data bars, color scales, and icon sets. These effects help me visualize the values in the cells, so it's easier to locate data, find exceptions, and spot trends quickly. I'll show you how conditional formatting works with this worksheet. I need to quickly see all the values in this column that are greater than 2000. You could do this in previous versions of Excel, but now setting up conditional formatting is a lot easier. First, I select the range. Then, on the Home tab, in the Styles group, I click Conditional Formatting. I point to Highlight Cells Rules and click Greater Than. Type 2000 and I can choose the formatting I want. Now it's easy to see the values that are greater than 2000. I can change a value if I want. And the formatting updates automatically. Now let's say that I want to rank the top five cells in this column with red fill. Top bottom rules lets me do that. I'll show you how it works with the top 10 items rule. Now the highest five values are easy to see. I can also format the range to show the bottom five values or some other number of values or format the average of the cell values. Highlight cells rules and top bottom rules use one type of formatting to highlight particular cells. Now let me show you some new formatting effects for comparing the values of all cells in a range. First, data bars. These colored bars vary in width depending on the value of a cell. The lowest value gets the narrowest bar. The highest value gets the widest bar. And the other bars are sized according to their respective values. To make the data bars easier to view, I can hide the values in the cells. This is useful if the values are very small. I click Conditional Formatting and then Manage Rules. I click This Worksheet and select the rule. Click Edit Rule, and then select the Show Bar Only checkbox. Let me show you a different formatting effect now, Color Scales. Color scales are similar to data bars, except that color gradients are used to compare values. I can select a two-color template that applies one color to the highest value and another color to the lowest value, and Excel calculates a mix of those colors for the values in between. Or I can select a three-color template that lets me choose a mid-range color. With this template, yellow represents the highest value, red represents the lowest value, and gradients of color represent the values in between. Color variations are good for spotting patterns. For example, I could use color scales to help me see variations in temperature over time. To make the values easier to recognize as temperatures, I can edit the rules. I'll make the lowest values blue and the highest values red. Now, let me move on to a third conditional formatting effect you can use. Icon sets. With icon sets, Excel formats a cell with a different icon depending on the cell's value. Icon sets represent data precisely because there are no gradients. By default, Excel calculates the value ranges used to assign an icon. But if you want different icons or value ranges or methods of calculating the value ranges, you can change the rules. For example, you could set up a table that updates periodically with data from a live data source. In this example, a cell turns red when a sensor reaches a maximum value. I use the yellow light to warn that the value is getting close to the maximum. And here's another example where the cell turns yellow when the inventory count falls below a certain level and red when the value reaches zero. To help me keep track of all the rules in a worksheet, I use the Manage Rules dialog box. When I click a rule, the range associated with it is selected. 
Then, I can edit or delete the rule. I can also add new rules here. As you can see, conditional formatting brings a whole new dimension to all those mountains of data in an Excel workbook.